Shalom guys, I hope that you are doing well. Thanks for joining for another combination reading. So whatever I wrote at the top, we're going to discover it in the video. If you are returning, welcome back guys. I appreciate you so very much. And if you are new to this channel, my name is Shannon and I'm glad to have you. My channel is very intense. I could come across real churchy and religious and I'm just not at all. I'm for the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth and the scriptures found in the tarot and I walk by it. It is my everything. I keep all 10 of those commandments. I love Jehovah Elohim, maker of heaven and earth. People call him the universe, but he is Abba. He is Father. I love his only begotten son that walked among us in the flesh, Yeshua, the Hamashiach, and that's who I confess. Anyway, uh, we look at criminal activity most of the time and, and take wicked dyke type of energies and just uproot it out of the earth you will hear information on this channel that could be disturbing to you but if you will get up and look in the mirror if you do find yourself in this energy and you can hear today then you will have worth and you will teach from that place and you'll be blessed for doing so all right so anyway you'll just learn me as we go i feel energy and sometimes i could come across a certain way it's just energy flow so if you can bear it then great uh, otherwise thanks for checking me out let's get started on this reading all right, Yehovah, I just appreciate you so very much. Holy Spirit, come on in here and lead and guide in all truth. We just take authority right now over every wicked, dark, demonic, piercing, nasty, lying, disgusting energy. Yehovah, rebuke you straight to the pit of hell. Yehovah, we ask for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to come to the surface for any given person that needs to know the information. What is going on with the two... Um, uh, signs that you want to look at. We're going to look at Aries and Taurus. Aries and Taurus. Boy, that Taurus energy thus far has really come out. Um, let's see what's going on with you all. First and the second house. Thank you, Yehovah. Okay, I have one that wants to jump out couple of them want to jump out. We have the Empress and the uh, Queen of Swords that's just wanting to jump out, which there you are, Taurus. Um, we've got, if you are dealing with your ex, you could be dealing with your ex or pregnancy situation or something like that. Mothers, family, this is law. Both those can go back to the law. Somebody very sharp could be here. If that's in the upright, this is somebody speaking just very precise, putting their truth up and saying something. Otherwise, that's a witch and they're not nice at all. And um, they're, they're, they're just, they're, there's legal matters then for some people around some stuff, given what I have read for already. Um, but, you know, we got beauty with the empress. Somebody could be very well known in the public eye with the empress. If she's lost her value, she's just she's just unbalanced, man. And she's just a piece of crap and she just gets pregnant all the time. And there's money around some stuff here for some people. This is the G and it looks like an L with the pictograph in the Hebrew. It's the Gimel. It's, uh, the, it's the pictograph of the leg. Somebody's leg could be prevalent. Or is somebody that could, could carry off something or gathering something. It's rich and generous type of energy as well with the Empress. There could be lots of money involved in some ordeal here. We'll see what's going on with Aries and Taurus, please, Jehovah. But we do have family with her or this is somebody of interest and maybe you've already, you know, she's got all four queens within her. And so if you're, you know, you're dealing with somebody who is a divorcee, then something like that might be here. You might be looking at them as my God, you know, you're beautiful uh, or something like that. Or maybe you are married and you're dealing with an ex issue and something's out of balance. There could be legal matters around that for some of you. There's been a war here. The letter Zion, the letter Z is here. Um, this goes back to a cut. And this is um, a, a large scope of an area that could be uh, uh, affected by something since this is known energy with the Empress for some of you all. This is a victory. There's been a war here. Okay. This is a vehicle, travel, getting balanced, something like that at the bottom of the deck. There you are, Taurus. Then we have, the, we have two queens here. And so, you know, this could be a grandparent and, and you know, her children as well. Something happened on some type of truck trip, and possibly so. Um, but it's two sides of the Empress. The Empress uh, upper and lower version is also here. Um, let's see, this could be sisters, family members, things like that. But there is a victory in some type of a war. Whatever that war has been, we're seeing a victory. So somebody's lost something, somebody has. If the Queen of Swords is in the negative, like I said, she's real witchy. If 
There's been a war here, and somebody's been very cutting with some stupidness, and that's here. And then somebody got their cut, their crop cut, and got fired. If this is a, if this is bosses and stuff like that, then that's here. The Queen of Pentacles in the negative. She's just a, nothing but stubborn piece of crap, man. I'm gonna hold on to my pentacle, and I don't give a rip, and stuff like that. And stubbornness is as a sin of witchcraft. And so both those energies could go back to that energy. Show me Aries and Taurus, please. Show me Aries and Taurus. You'll hold that. You tell us what's going on with this war. And this could be the law real big here with all three of these. Something could be very much emotional. But if, if you're happy because the war has been won, then the Ten of Cups is a big time satisfaction and emotional happiness. Okay. We have the Strength card coming out. And this is the Het in the Hebrew. So the H or the CH letter could also be here in your reading. Um, this is a wall, a ladder, a string, a doorway, a passing from one space to the next, new births and or deaths. Okay. Uh, it's somebody's needing courage and strength. This, um, this child is sitting on a wolf. Okay. Uh, somebody was a wolf somewhere, I guess. Now we're having to use their instinct about how to do something here, travel forward, uh, and have some type of compassion. Because if this is in the negative and something's unbalanced here with this war that's been going on, somebody just trying to get their bounce and something's very much emotional around home matters or around the legal matter or whatever. One more, you'll have in the bottom of the deck of this card. Deck, please. What else you want to bring out here? Um... This is the Nine of Cups. Well, something very much emotional then. If somebody needing strength and courage for something, somebody trying to get their balance, then, you know, that's 19 cups, man. That's a lot of cups. There is a decision here with the Lover's card. This is Intimate Relationships. This is the um, Wa or the Vav. It looks like a Y. It's a tent peg nail. Uh, could represent just that you know somebody just adding something together but it's the nail that keeps the rope from slipping from the tent so something happened on a travel trip what we see somebody playing in water and something around something watery was here where camp out stuff was and, and you know we got children really big then that would be showing up in this reading uh, and some some type of a decision around something happened on that trip and somebody's added something together and this somebody's polaric balance here as well so we got bouncing here bouncing here bouncing here and somebody needing courage for something that you're going through between your energy show me what's hidden uh that's coming to the surface please between aries and taurus thank you uh there's love here okay again those of you who have a love situation what regards what the war is Okay, the Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. If somebody just needs courage to get up and do something, make that decision, this is a blessed union. Normally, the, the Six of Cups, excuse me, the, the lovers, the Sixth High Arcana is the angel that's blessing a union. The Empress has a, a counterpart, okay? And so, one of the wars has been, if you had a jealous ex around somebody, but you found somebody that was made for you, then then so be it. For some of y'all, that might be the case. The love, though, there is a baby then showing here the happiness and satisfaction and stuff like that with what's coming to the surface some people had some family that wanted to heal with them as well and so if there's family members then that's loving caring kind to heal something bounce off the scales uh because this goes back to your family um we got love out here that's coming to the surface between your energy what else is hidden that's coming to the surface please between aries and taurus what's going on with this we, it's, we definitely have a baby type of energy. This is also a new start, an infant stage is, of something or just something inexperienced, you know, so especially if you got to go slow. I had some readings that uh, wording came out, you need to go slow or something like that. But we definitely see in babies out here, okay? And so, an intimate relationship has taken place with some of you all and there's pregnancy with the empress, okay? So somebody's pregnant or something, some, something's happened within that ordeal. Um, joyfulness is coming up uh, to the surface. Uh, that's positive, people. This is harmony 
and feeling pleasure and creativity and a well-being card. This is really nice energy coming up for you all. It's nice, okay? And then the house is here. Even though, regardless, whatever the, whatever the war has been, if you've been fighting with other people, because some people have been, because of witchiness and stuff like that, somebody upright is getting a victory moving forward. So the house is your residence. It's, you know, property and domestic affairs and your family stuff is really here. Children are really here. Something about children really coming to the surface. There's something that's going to be joyful if you're healing something. Even if something devastating has, has went on because we have death and birth energy here with the strength card in the Hebrew. Uh, even if, if there's walls up because of something, there, there's something about your home really big here in your reading. Okay. Um, this card in this deck, though. In the negative, those of you who are dealing with some freaks out there that have really done a number, uh, can go to, you know, your your soul and your spirit, and somebody lost their soul or something like that, then that could be here. Um, but we got family bonds and projects and stuff like that, and comforts and home security and stuff like that with this card. So... Congratulations to those of you who are getting a victory, especially those of you who, in whom I have read some really nasty energies with the war that has been around abominable things, okay? That one wants to come out, that wants to show itself, and I'll take the bottom of the deck. Uh, except for the little children. <laughs> well, we got babies out here, man. This is children as well. Even this card can go back to children. That's amazing. Suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of God. Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall in no wise enter in. Wow, that's huge, people. Uh, let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of Jehovah all the day long. So, you know, somebody was sitting here envying some sinner because they had money and stuff like that. Some war went down within some ordeal. And uh, whatever that is, Jehovah, just bring it out. Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul, and it's health to the bones. All right. Let's take some more words out of my other deck. Jehovah, what else do you want to bring out for Aries and Taurus? This is one of the best readings that I've had thus far. <laughs> Beautiful. Even though there's war energy that's out here. It says the upright people are getting victory. Because Jehovah's fighting the battle, man. All right. We have a ring here. Again, somebody has a blessed union out here. It is blessed by Jehovah. There's some type of a decision. Whatever's went down in the war, something's beautiful. There's love out here, man. Uh, so we have jewelry and rings and something like that out here. It, 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 we got value out here. This also go back to fortune and stuff like that. I love your passion and it turns me on is also coming out here. <laughs> and then somebody, somebody, somebody's in love. They got a blessed union. Um, there is a spiritual leader of a family that is upright showing up in here. That's truthful. That's positive. That's positive, people. That's the empress in the upright. Um, there's been somebody that's also dealing with, for some of you all, uh, somebody has been overpowering within something. Well, if you went through a divorce and there's been battles with, you know, baby mama wars and stuff like that for some of you all, somebody's been trying to overpower some situation, then that's been here, okay, for, for some of you all. Um, near and local energy is coming out here, and please forgive me. Again, some of you all have... Um, family matters that are coming out and your family wants healing with you and there's love here okay the home is here okay or just some some situation uh, a matter of the heart has been here somebody says i lied to myself about you forgive me it's truthful we have forgiveness out here we have beautiful energy we also deal with somebody within your connection people that if this is a witch and somebody's abominable and all they do is they're just a nothing but a nasty ditch and they get pregnant here okay and you've had some type of legal matter and somebody has lost their soul and then they get pregnant and they do some nastiness with those babies then we have somebody who's twice dead because the, the book of Jude tells us that people who go 
the way a Cain put their children through the fire, they, they're twice dead. So we have somebody that is out here. There has been a heartbreak around something. And something's went down with family. It's really been devastating for some people. Uh, this re this uh, scripture also came out for somebody. A brutish man knows not, neither does a fool understand this, that when the wicked spring up as the grass and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they be destroyed forever. This is a cutting implement, okay? This goes back to a crop cutter. So we just take it as Jehovah putting in his sickle here and on these brutish people that have done some foul, nasty things to people's families and uh, they don't know that they're just like grass springing up and just like that, they're going to be taken out. Let's take a rune and we'll call this a reading. But oh, overall, whatever your, whatever your war has been, those of you who are getting a victory, praise You'll hold up. Let everything that hath breath praise you hold up. We have the DH and the TH. This goes back to some, you could be dealing with somebody has spinal issues. If somebody didn't have a spiritual spine, they're, they're screwed. Okay? But we do have some type of enchantment energy that's come out, and this is a witch. Stubbornness as a, a sin of witchcraft. Okay? Some, some, something's happened within somebody else's connection, given what I've already freaking read for. Uh, this is some type of a strategy that's been here as well. Calculations of things. Uh, risk of breaking the rules, though. And um, for some people, it's done something that caused a war here. It's been very much emotional and some stuff. This is good luck, though, to be gathered before the unexpected dispels it. And if that's what happened for some people, I think, Taurus, in your reading, somebody had uh, had like a fake... Um, internet uh app or something like that somebody came across some situ some ordeal that i guess around money and this this fakeness that was there around something so the dh and the th together is death in the phonics we have death in life situations here as well around parental situations and there's been warring in court around that kind of stuff then i guess so but uh this is what come out guys for your reading until next time shalom